Ah, we're back on the door. All frames fitted, doors in, this is all on, all the trim's on. We just need to make one end cap for here, easy enough. But we're just finishing this repair. It's all soft, so I think I'm going to take, it's come away as well. So I'm going to take this slice out, hopefully put a piece in. We'll figure it out as we go. So this is the piece we've put in, just put it in with the epoxy and we're just going to give it a sand back, see if we can get it to match what it comes up like. Let's have a look. on the last piece of the door it's a little bit of an awkward shape so I've had to cut a funny little piece it's gonna go in as such we've got two of them because uh, these aren't quite thick enough and I haven't got any thicker stuff so I've just biscuit up a bit of epoxy I'm gonna stick these in that's gonna seal right up to the back put the screw at the top and that should be Thing, the last piece of the top done so we get those in see how it goes the last couple of bits on the door we just fitted the draft excluder which is a very nice snug fit I'm just gonna put the trim over that which is yeah step that trim over there and we'll have a look Something a bit different today. The motor. I'm gonna have to lift it. Not very far, because I can't lift it very far. I'm not gonna lift it into here. Under the motor is, let's get down and have a look. Oh. Oh, it's smelly in here. There is a glass resin piece, which unfortunately has all come away, all split. We have a look. You can see down here, it's a big slab. These are some pieces that have already come out. And I need to get it all out because it's just a mess. And the only way to do it is to lift the engine because there is no clearance anywhere and all of that has to come out. So what I'm going to attempt is, I've got the coupling off for the prop shaft at the back because that had a knackered um, constant velocity. So I think if we take the bolts, exhaust, water, fuel line should be all right. I should be able to hoist it about a foot and then put some planks of wood in, straddle it. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Well, it's not something I really wanted to do. We're getting, got the water off, uh, fuel and everything will shift over when the engine moves over. But the exhaust, this big old lump here, Four bolts, one of them is on a stud with a nut on and it's just spinning. And no matter what I do, it's just spinning. Um, and I can't figure out how it's spinning because it's a piece of thread into the exhaust block. So after lots of messing about, unfortunately, I've decided I'm gonna to have to cut it off. Um, I didn't really wanna be chopping bits off. 
but it's the only way this exhaust is going to come off and that's the only way the engine's going to move so have the noisy spanner see if we can get into it Turn it, get to the other side. There she goes. Now hopefully whatever's left, there'll be enough stud or something to get it off. Uh, that's Whoa, that's a nice piece. So we'll put that in there. And yeah, we've just got a stud that's turning now. So we're gonna have to figure out what to do with that. So this is just straight into the casing. But we'll see how we do. This is actually a bolt. Pass through from the inside somehow. So they've probably knackered the threads. Instead of fixing it, they've somehow put a bolt in. But if I drop that into the engine, that's game over. So we're gonna have to figure something out. Here's the bolt. Nothing up the exhaust. This is a water drain. The outside of this is a water jacket. I've got a funny idea that somehow they've taken this off and managed to put a bolt in here which is crazy so if I push it in it's gone forever the other side of that would mean taking the inlet manifold off which I think is missing a big bolt anyway I have to investigate that and then exhaust manifold which is all these here I didn't want to have to do all this this was all working. Well, working as best it could. Uh, so right, let's try and get this off. So, we got this off, took a while. And yes, there was some thread. And unfortunately, I was trying my best to get it out and it dropped down into the bottom of the jacket. But there's this big plug on the bottom. So we got that off and here, is what was inside so that had been passed through in fact that doesn't look exactly like it i'm thinking you might have had to have a few goes at this which makes me think there might be a lot of nuts and bolts oh yeah right i need to answer this but i can feel two or three different things in there hold on okay quick update we got the drive coupling off down there, disconnected the water, uh, a few other bits and pieces and we've got the hoist in, managed to fit it in here. Let's just have a look, it's set on, it's set on two tons, huh? not a half ton. Um, this engine weighs 300 kilos I believe. So all the engine mounts are off and the plan is to lift it and then push it over let's come over this way put it on two boards and push it over to that side let's just get the lights out of the way you can see a bit better push it over to that side then we can get access down underneath the engine where all the knackered glass is should be fun. Okay. On the motor over here, on these big blocks of wood. Now we can see 
exactly what we're dealing with. This resin's been poured in with no matting or anything with it, so it's just got absolutely no structure. It's all the whole thing is lifting. Uh, it looks like it's been done a couple of times very badly. Uh, so we're going to crack it all out and see if we can do a proper repair because it's stinking and horrible. So just a quick update, I've uh, been cracking all this epoxy out and we're down to concrete, which is the original ballast. They've obviously just poured this resin over the top and it's not settled at all, or not adhered. So if we just have a look down here, you can actually see how thick the stuff is. It's two, two and a half inches in places. So I've just got this last little bit of this end to crack out and then I can decide uh, how I'm going to repair it maybe just matting over the top and seal it um, but in the meantime I need a break from doing this so I'm going to have a look at the coupling at the back on the prop shaft and the rudder and prop because I get the feeling that it's all going to need to be done so whilst I've got the engine out and I've got access to the back may as well do all of it as we've got the engine shifted over i thought we may as well deal with everything here so rudders off this was absolutely shot at it was rock solid the problem was couldn't tell because it's hydraulic so it felt absolutely fine um but we had to use jack to push the tube out uh, i've cleaned it all up now um this was quite cool didn't really know how to clean the inside of this so we stuck a bit of ct1 on the bottom stuck it onto that piece of wood and filled it with bosphoric acid which absolutely did the job but it wouldn't even go on there before so that's the actual rudder and now we're just going to attempt to pull the prop shaft 